Do what thou wilt, shall be the whole of the law. Hey everyone, Freighter Superabo here again. Thanks for checking out my channel where we are the home for common sense occultism and practical magic. I have said it many a time on this channel that we are about doing the work and being magicians, not just talking about it, and that's what we're going to do. We're all about doing the work and practical occultism. So again, thank you for joining me today. Um, if you haven't already, just get my little annoying spiel out of the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and look below for that big red subscribe button and go ahead and hit that for me. Uh, we do have the goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers by the Spring Vernal Equinox, the Thelemic New Year, whatever term you choose to use. Uh, I know we're gonna have. I know we're gonna make it happen, guys. So I want to go ahead again and thank you in advance for helping me reach this goal. Without further ado. Um, Today's topic is going to be, as promised, must-have books in the early stages and throughout um, your magical journey or your uh, occult path, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are books that I feel everyone should have. Uh, I'm not going to recommend something to you that I have not used or read myself. Um, get these. These will, these are invaluable in my opinion, my humble opinion. These books are invaluable and will help you from day one all the way through your entire journey in occultism from neophyte to adept and beyond. Um, this has been my personal experience. I, um, I'm sure there might be some differences of opinion out there um, and that's totally fine. Do what you will. Um, these books, let me start off by saying, they are not uh, Thelemic specific either. So I'll probably do another video on books that every Thelemite should have in my uh, view. But this is a general magic practitioner. So this is not um, Thelema specific. So I'm not going to say... Uh, so. Don't call me a bad Thelemite. I'm not going to put the Book of the Law on this list. While it has been invaluable to me as a Thelemite, I don't necessarily feel that it is appropriate for this list. Now, must have for every Thelemite, you bet your ass it is. But, or anyone who's looking to explore Thelema. But general magic occultism, that's what I'm looking at here. So, again... I just don't want to see a whole bunch of things like, you didn't put the book of the law, bad Thelemite. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's get that out of the way right up front. Um, these books essentially are, um, I, I believe a cult book kind of fall into like three categories. One being theory, the other being history, and the other one being uh, workbooks, like lessons, self-initiation, things of that sort. Uh, so you'll find little tidbits of all of those. Um, what I want to say is you don't have to take my advice, obviously, but what I wish someone would have told me is kind of the plan, the framework of what to shop for. Um, because when this is where most of our information comes, most occultists, most people, we love to read. We get most of our information from books and if we don't have recommend recommendations or we don't have a teacher or we're, we're just totally lost and on our own, sometimes, you know, you, you can't just, you, you know, you can't go off reviews all the time uh, or product descriptions. And aside from, you know, reading 20, 30 pages in the bookstore, um, you're not necessarily going to know what is inside. So something that happened to me was... I ended up buying books that repeated the same thing. Uh, sometimes even by the same author. You would expect the same author to, you know, write something different in the next book. But no, 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 no. Believe it or not, they regurgitate the same shit. Um, not that it's shit, but uh, you, 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 I think you can follow what I'm saying. Um, so uh, I wish that I would have had someone to tell me, okay, this is kind of the framework you want to follow. Get books that are about this. So um, that's what I kind of want to do today. Um, 
I think it's important to get a one, one of those practical workbooks, ones that really literally walk you through and say step by step, this is how you do this, that, blah, blah, blah. Day one, do this, do it for a month, yada, yada, yada. You know, I think those are very important in the, uh, especially to the beginner. Um, so that is one class that you definitely want to get. I also think it's important to get books that have a plethora of information on certain topics. So not only step-by-step -step magical practices, um, you want books that, or at least one book, one good book on tarot. So at least one, when, when you're looking to build your library, if you have absolutely nothing, this is what you want to encompass your shelves. You want a practical book. You want a book that has information on the tarot, probably a tarot deck with it. Um, a book on astrology. And uh, a book on herbs. Herbs and other, um, you know, practical earthy type things. Uh, you call it nature magic, whatever, alchemical elixirs, even if you want to go that far. Um, and energetic practices. So those four or five, I don't know how many I mentioned that, but you know, that's kind of what you want in, in your books. And a lot of times books will have all of those categories in one text and that's wonderful. Um, so that's kind of a general framework that I would recommend everyone having on, and, and kind of learning how to shop. Well, like, okay, well, how many books on tarot? Uh, okay, you said get one on tarot. So have one on tarot, have, you know, or divination, different types of divination. Have one about this. Have one that is, you know, strictly evocation. Yeah, you know, just things of that nature so you can not be buying the same thing over and over again. Um... Okay, that's enough about that. Let's get right into the books themselves that I feel are essential. Um, again, this is kind of geared towards the beginner, um, but these will, not to say that these books cannot progress you to the level of adept, uh, because some of them are actually meant to, um, but uh, I, I'm starting this list off, these are in no particular order, by the way, um, but I'm starting this off as a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, for the beginner, essentially. I'm looking for the beginner as if you had absolutely nothing. These were books that you would want to get that you need to have. Okay? So, um, and again, not in any particular order. This is not a top 10 list. This is not a um, best to worst or worst to best or any of that. Nothing like that. So, um, just in general. Um, Modern Magic, Donald Michael Craig. Uh, this book, um, while it does lack the astrology part, it does have information on all the other topics I mentioned. Tarot, how to, um, and meditation, divination, step-by-step -step things, and lesson plans. And the goal of the book, uh, when Don Craig wrote it, uh, Rest in Peace, um, was, and he says this in his introduction, I believe, is that he didn't want to write the end-all, be-all of magic books, but he wanted to, what he wanted to accomplish with this book was to, once you've read it, once you did all the lessons in his book, he wanted you to be able to pick up any book on magic or occultism and be able to understand everything they said. And you could pick up any book and work through it. And I think he succeeded awesomely. 110% he succeeded. Because that book, I worked through the whole thing. And honestly, it helped me be able to understand other magic books. So it is excellent and again, a must have for the beginner. Uh, quick disclaimer, there are some discrepancies in the book, we'll just say, uh, where rituals may or may not necessarily be correct According to some people, I don't know whether that's his tradition in the Golden Dawn or why he did it that way, and we can't ask him because, unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Um, but just letting you guys know that up front. One, it doesn't have astrology, which he admits. And two, there are blinds and some misleading things and some discrepancies on as far as a few of the rituals and the way they are done. 
okay? But nonetheless, great book, Donald Michael Craig, Modern Magic, okay? Um, I would be remiss if I did not mention this one. Um, now, this book is pretty much the granddaddy of all uh, Western occult philosophy, and that is, uh, it's right there in the name, it is uh, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa's Three Books of Occult Philosophy. This text has pretty much everything and everything, everything and anything to do with Western ceremonial magic, from nature magic to talismans, astrological talismans, planetary magic, um, having to do with spirit magic, spirit evocation. It is a wealth of information, a sure, a, an occult treasure trove. And I would be remiss not to mention it here. In fact, some of the books that I will mention and all other, uh, pretty much, you could even say all occult books kind of stem from this one text. So, as far as Western ceremonial magic goes. So, it is definitely a must-have. There is also the fourth book of occult philosophy. And, um, I don't know if that's necessarily a must-have, but I would recommend you get that as well. Um, you definitely want that. Again, a wealth of information. Uh, another one, let's see, on this list. And I would be, I would be a very bad Thelemite if I didn't mention this. And that is uh, Crowley's Magnum Opus, which is uh, Liber Abba or Book 4. I actually have a copy of that um, right here. The Big Blue Brick Magic Liber Abba. As you can see, very thick. Uh, this is a great book. It is a steal. Um... Not just Thelemites need this book. Every magician needs this book, in my opinion. Everything you need to know. Um, he touches on everything from yoga to uh, magic to um, meditation practices to uh, their specific rituals in here to magician's table, some of which, yes, are found in... Um, Agrippa as well, but the seven seven tables seven 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 tables are in here. Um, this book, I, there's just I could go on and on about this book. Everyone should have this. Uh, it is well worth the money. Now, if you're going to Google uh, Magic Book Four or Crowley's Book Four, uh, please don't be deceived. There will be a little black book that pops up on your computer screen with a big red four on it. It'll say book four or Crowley's book four. Um, that is not the whole text. That is part one. So do not think that you're getting this for $15 because that's just not the way. That's only uh, part one. This is the whole thing, parts one through four. Um, one goes over yoga and um, ceremonial tools, um, meditation, uh, book two goes over everything there is to know about magic in theory and practice. That's why it's called magic in theory and practice. Um, and book three has everything to do with the law of Thelema and the reception of the book of the law. Um, and it's just you, the appendix alone, even uh, just there's just not. I can't say enough about this book. So this right here, get it. Um, it usually retails for around $100. However, it is almost always on sale. I've never not seen it on sale. So you can get it for around 50 to 60 bucks. And for the size of it, it's a hardback. It's a beautiful book. You will use it forever. It's well worth the money. So Magic Book 4. Um, another one, if you're into spirit magic, and you want to do that eventually, you will want to get this book, the Greek Magical Papyri, also known as the PGM. Sometimes people also reference it, um, called the Greco-Egyptian Magical Papyri, but the Greek Magical Papyri. Um, this, there's some companion books to this as well, if you want to look into getting those eventually, but this is a must-have for people that want to do certain types of spirit magic, especially in a pagan context. A must-have. Hans Dater Betts, along with the demo demonic spells, the Greek magical papyri. A must-have. 
Um, I mentioned 777 before, which is a book that looks like this. If you get book four, um, you don't need to buy this because it's in there, okay? But if you can't get book four right away, I definitely recommend getting this book because it has everything you'll ever need to know in it as far as magician's tables. Um, so that is 777 and other Kabbalistic writings of Aleister Crowley. Um, yeah. Again, this is in book four, Libra Abba, but if you can't get that, I would get this. Uh, that way you have it. It is a must for being able to set up your own magical rituals and being able to pick the uh, Kabbalistic correspondences. Um, it's just nice to have a book in front of you with that, and then you don't have to be Googling and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Just a great book to have. Um, another book that has helped me is uh, The Middle Pillar by Israel Regardi. This is an extended version. Um, it, uh, th with parts from the, uh, Cicero's, which are two, uh, modern Golden Dawn order founders. Uh, they were students of Regardi. And this book, while it goes into a lot of kind of psychology-based magic, which I'm not a big fan of, um, nonetheless, it also, the, it's a valuable text because of the ritual itself. And... It, it, just because you're not into psych, the, the, the psychology of magic, um, it doesn't mean that uh, you're not going to get great information in this book. And it has different banishing uh, pentagram forms. And uh, if for, for basic rituals and learning uh, stuff from the get-go, from the beginning, this is just a, a great book to have. And it's an easy read, in my opinion. So another must-have um, on your list. Um, I haven't done a video on this yet, but you've probably heard me mention the Abra Mellon operation or the uh, Holy Guardian Angel operation. Uh, this is something that um, I recommend most magicians undertake eventually to become an addict. Uh, if you want to do the traditional version of it, I would recommend getting a hard copy of the book of the Sacred Magic of Abra Mellon the Mage. Um, I don't have the cover on this one. This is the newest translation by uh, George Den. Um, there is also the uh, six-month version, which is the Mathers version, which was translated from the French text, um, whereas this was translated from the German. So the Abramelon ritual, the Abra sacred magic of Abramelon the mage, um, another must-have book on your shelves for future work. Um, I mentioned Tarot. Great book on the Tarot. Again, Crowley's The Book of Thoth. Um, again, just everything there is to know about the deeper meaning of the Tarot cards uh, as described in Crowley's deck. Uh, of course, it would help to have a deck uh, the, the Thoth Tarot deck to accompany this. Lawn Duquette also has a companion book to this because this can be quite confusing. This is not necessarily for the beginner because um, it can be quite uh, quite confusing. I would get a Tarot for Beginners book or something before diving into this. Grab a Rider Waite deck, grab the Crowley deck, and look at the accompanying book with that before you bust this out because you might get a little lost. I do not recommend this being the first magic book you pick up because you may go, whoa. <laughs> So, um, there is a companion book by Lon Duquette that is understanding Crowley's Thoth Tarot that I think is excellent to go with this book. So, um, to get yourself covered with tarot, um, not only Modern Magic goes into tarot some, but this, to further expand your knowledge on tarot, this is, there's, there's not many out there like this one. So, the, the Book of Thoth, Thoth, however you want to pronounce it, I normally say Tahuti. I don't know why he didn't just say Tahuti, but the Book of Thoth <laughs> um, by Alistair Crowley, the Master Therion himself. Um, yeah, that's another thing. Get yourself a good tarot deck too. Um, I mentioned Lon Duquette. There is a uh, he puts out a uh, tarot of ceremonial magic. Uh, there is just a wealth of information in these cards and a nice little book that you can buy. You have to buy it separate. That kind of sucks. Um, so shame on you, Lon, for doing that. You should have bring the book and the deck together. Shame. Um, 
but nonetheless, it's it's a great thing to have, and I have them both. So, um, another book on history, and uh, if you're into um, Rosicrucian thought, Masonic literature, things of that nature, uh, one of my favorite books of all time. Um, I only have the little one with me, but um, Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages. Um, this is just an amazing book. There's a wealth of knowledge in here. Uh, I always, I recommend this book to everybody. And it is probably, I... I don't know, it's, it's one of my favorite, if not, it, it's got to be top three of my favorite books on esoteric philosophy out there. So, The Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manly P. Hall. He is a prominent Masonic author. Um, while this isn't necessarily magic per se, even though there is a chapter on ceremonial magic, um, it helps with the history and understanding of fraternal orders, and the doctrine of alchemy, Rosicrucianism, Freemasonry, and things that influence Western spirituality. So that's why this is a must-have. Um, I recommend getting the what's called the Reader's Edition, though. This is not the Reader's Edition. I don't have that with me. But um, the Reader's Edition of The Secret Teachings of All Ages. Um, to get, again, back into the spirit magic and the grimoires, I recommend picking up at least one grimoire um, to work on later on down the line. So whether you want to go Solomonic and get the Key of Solomon, the Lamegaton um, with the Goetia, or if you want to get the so-called Greater Key of Solomon uh, for more angelic magic, uh, any of those I would pick up to have just to, just to experiment with later on down the line when you get into evocation spirit magic we're going to be doing videos on that so i don't want to go over everyone's head i'm kind of going off on a tangent here um, with the spirit magic but i do recommend get because that is the the point of doing all these rituals uh even the golden dawn style rituals or the de developmental style rituals that we have gone over on this channel is to build up the magician to be able to do spirit magic and more advanced forms of magic. So, nothing wrong with go ahead and getting at least one of the grimoire books. Um, to piggyback on that, and you might not have thought I would mention this in the video, but a must-have book is... Oh, where it go? Now I'm not going to be able to find it. Ah, okay. <laughs> a must-have book is, believe it or not, the Bible. Um... <laughs> There are several magic spells in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, and very, uh, again, a wealth of information that you can use, text you can read, prayers, not only that fall into line with the um, kind of Judeo-Christian magical format that Western ceremonial magic kind of has, the flavor kind of has with it, at least in the traditional sense. Um, it goes, uh, a lot of instructions in the grimoires state that you, you know, read certain passages from the Bible. So the, the Bible, believe it or not, is a very magical textbook. Um, it, it leaves a bad taste in some of our mouths, seriously. Um, I, I know myself personally, but uh, I have come to terms with the fact that you can't, there are various forms of magic that the um, Bible helps with. And when you're talking about practical spirituality, to me, it really doesn't matter what the faith is if the magic works and you have, all that matters is your personal relationship with that deity or deities as you understand it. Um, uh, and again, a lot of it is just a language barrier too. So again, a nice King James version of the Bible, or if you want to get the Latin Vulgate, the Douay Rhymes, um, or the Catholic Bible, uh, if you want to get that. Um, that works too. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to cut it there. Um, there, there's obviously some other things. If you're, it, again, these are just recommendations. Now, the first two or three that I mentioned, again, Modern Magic, that could start you off if you're a straight beginner and you could be fine for a year or so and that'd be the only book that you have. 
Um, I do recommend the, and he has in that book a list of other books that he recommends you get, um, and you want to look into that as well. Um, but the others, again, I just think, especially uh, Agrippa's three books, it, you know, it, they're just, without that book, you wouldn't have these other books. So, uh, at the very least, that. At the very least, book four. These, uh, the, the, so the first three I mentioned, I mean, they will take you far and beyond in uh, occultism. So I don't want to keep rambling on and on and on about get this, get this, get this. You will collect over the years a shit ton of books, a lot of books. So, it, it, you know, it don't don't feel like, oh, I don't know what to get, this and that. that you know, just start and, um, you know, work slow. Uh, pace yourself just like anything else just like you got to remember this is an exercise program just like physical fitness you'll hear me talk about fitness a lot on this channel so get used to it um, it's just like it's the same thing only you're working out your spiritual body you're working out your aura you're working out you're building your magical muscles so you need to pace yourself just like with anything else don't burn out too soon and uh, you will get bigger and stronger and wiser so um, again I don't want to go on and on and on about you know and, and list like a hundred books you know because you may get a hundred books by the end of the time you probably will um, but because uh, of course there's other things depending you know where where your your tradition or where your mind or where your angel leads you um, or the higher self or whatever wherever you go is going to depend on what other texts that you get. If you know, if you end up being a Golden Dawn guy, you know what I mean? You're going to want other books specifically on the Golden Dawn. You're going to want to get Israel Agardi's The Golden Dawn. That's another one. So if you want to do Golden Dawn magic, get Israel Agardi's The Golden Dawn. Um, you want to get self-initiation into the, the, the Golden Dawn tradition by the Ciceros. If you want to get that, if you're all about Golden Dawn magic. Um, if you're about the Lima, you want to get, uh, you know, you want to get book four. You want to get the book of the law. You want to get the corpus of uh, the AA texts. Um, so it all depends on where you want to go. Uh, if, if you are into Eastern philosophy, you're going to want to get things on yoga as well. Not, I also recommend you get stuff on yoga anyway. But um, you're going to want some Eastern philosophy books. You're going to want to get anything by Mantak Chia or something like that. So, the point here was to just list a few books that I know can be beneficial and that have helped me not to list off a whole library or to overwhelm you. So, I'm going to cut it here. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Again, uh, please check out the description box below all my links to social media. Um, also, as everyone knows, uh, videos here are absolutely free information, but if you should choose uh, to um, want to grow this channel and uh, you know be a part of the community, uh, please click my Patreon link uh, below in the description and um, receive some kick-ass rewards. So, again, thank you guys very much for being with me today. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos coming up. Um, like I said, uh, we're going to move up to two a week. So that's going to be happening very soon. Also have some pretty big announcements that are going to be coming up in the very near future. Um, a lot of big things going on. A lot of awesome things happening in 2018. So, uh, first and foremost, let's get to that thousand subscriber goal so I can do this giveaway. Um, and I will see you next time. So again, thanks a lot, guys. Like, subscribe, share. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Love is the law. Love under will.